Boy, am I glad to see you guys. He's glad. Ray stands, you boy genius, you. Okay, your lordship. We got him. But what do we do with him? Drive the trucks off and bury him. Keep those degaussing wires connected to storage batteries until the ghosts de-resolve. Well, you did not tell me about this part. Who's gonna pay for the trucks? Now, you wouldn't want to leave before they answer the big question. Yeah, you should be interested. It concerns money. Well, I've been talking to Mr. McIntosh here, who knows all the local politics. It seems that Mr. Lenny lied to us. He isn't the executor. He works for my uncle's relatives. That's right, your lordship. He was figuring to make you look bad and to ruin your chances so old Macmillan Stephen Ken could get the castle. You knew the sort of trouble we'd cause if we trapped that ghost, but you let us go ahead. You risked the lives of all these people so you could steal the castle. What should we do with them, Ray? Aye! Aye. What are you going to do, you lot of chips? You. That's right. I'm the Duke, aren't I? Okay. I could turn Mr. Lenny over to the police, but I won't if he replaces the trucks. Oh, I, I will. Well, that's all well and fine, but it'll take weeks to get new trucks. What do we do with the garbage in the meantime? Perhaps Mr. Lenny would be willing to take care of that as well. Pick it up and store it at his place. I, I, I could do that. Good. And as far as I'm concerned, the other relatives can live in the castle. As long as they pay rent to the village of Dunkill. I'm gonna turn the castle over to the village. <laughs> I wasn't cut out to be a duke anyway. I 